Hey everybody, I talk a lot about the visual design features in Excel, you know, what uh, what those features are, how you can use them, and how they kind of enable you to use Excel a little bit more like PowerPoint. Um, and a lot of people hear that and they just don't really know what I mean. <laughs> they don't know how that applies to Excel, what it can do. And I just want to show you some examples um, of me applying that concept, what it can do, what you can create. Uh, I'm going to go through it fast. This stuff is just using standard Excel features. There's no plugins, there's no custom coding standard stuff and it's features you probably already know about you just maybe haven't applied in this way before so this is an e-commerce dash i put together this e-commerce dash has some really cool abilities to let you drill down into region or product categories it allows you to select date ranges it will automatically update based on those selections it's even got a little nav here you can use if you want to so all this stuff is leveraged primarily off of one core concept which is layers so if we select a shape, we go to reorder objects, I can show you what I mean. Our base layer is a grid. On top of that grid, we have shapes. Those shapes create the kind of foundation of our dashboard, the organization in the background. Then we have icons and text, you know, the descriptors, that sort of thing. On top of that, we have our metrics, we have our data visualizations, we have our filters. All that stacks together and it creates something like this. Now whoa that's crazy maybe you think you see that you go i can't do that if you created a powerpoint slide you've probably done this before you've inserted a shape maybe you've inserted a text on top and then inserted an image maybe you needed to move the image forward or backward so it was in the right place when you start doing that you start stacking those shapes together to create interesting effects that's what this is that's all i've done here um the filtering the those kinds of concepts that is just pivot charts uh if you're not familiar with pivot charts look them up pivot charts and pivot slicers are what enable you to do this stuff there's a million free tutorials about pivot charts and pivot slicers you can watch but the visual effect is really shapes it's all about layering uh here's a light theme version of that same dashboard um and switching from a light theme to a dark theme in this case was just a matter of changing the color of my shapes and then updating my chart colors that's it um there's really was nothing else that went into doing that here's another example here just showing how a very small amount of data these tiny little tables here can be used to create cool dynamic dashboards i did a little light theme and a dark theme here and these dashboards communicate what's in our data more effectively something that we just don't even think about oftentimes when we're in Excel, we're so used to looking at tables, right? We're so used to this concept, this grid layout, tables of data, processing them and then putting them into separate cells. We don't really consider the layout of our data, the way that our data is communicating an idea, the structure of our data, right? The kind of stuff you think about when you make an Excel slide. When you're making an Excel slide, you think about your messaging, the text, the layout, if the imagery is communicating things effectively or not. And what I just want to encourage people to do is that. Take that step. Really think about that stuff. Get creative with it. Have fun, right? This example here, maybe not the best data visualizations, but it just shows you this is only only using shape features and then styling the shapes to make these effects. That's it. Nothing else really here other than making all of the charts the same color. If you do that, you can create really cool things. So to get started, what I suggest you do is see if your company has a cool PowerPoint template that you like. Try recreating that PowerPoint template in Excel. Every single shape, every single object in that PowerPoint template will have an equivalent you can find under the insert shapes tab here in Excel or insert picture. It, it'll just go to the insert tab. You'll find the equivalent of everything. So you've got, you look at your, your PowerPoint template. You say, hey, I've got a rounded rectangle with a colored background. Go in here to Excel, find the rounded rectangle shape under shapes, insert it, update the colors, make it look the same as the template that you just saw. You can take the colors from the PowerPoint template. You can take everything, just recreate it here. That's a really effective way to get started and start learning how to kind of leverage these concepts. The other way to do this is to look at somebody else's template um, and deconstruct it and try recreating it yourself. All these examples or most of these examples I send out for free in my newsletter with little tutorials. So essentially somebody can go and get the file, start pulling it apart, deconstructing it. And that's a really fast way to learn how I've done all of these cool effects. You can just pick each part, each piece apart, look at how it's styled, look at how it's customized, and you'll be up to speed in no time. 
Uh, if you don't want to join the newsletter for some reason, that's fine. I totally get it. Instead, you can just Google dashboard, uh, Excel dashboard templates or something like that. And you will find lots of good examples. Probably a bunch of them will be free. Download those and do what I just said. Deconstruct them. Look at each piece. Look at how they created the effects. That's a really quick way to learn and get yourself up to speed. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that kind of inspires you, encourages you, and helps you understand that this isn't necessarily as difficult as you might expect. Uh, today's video is brought to you by my little kittens who have been very quietly sitting in my lap, <laughs> very politely not interrupting. Uh, and I am really, really happy that they are going to be uh, part of the Excel journey now. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Have a good one. And uh, I will be back next week with more little Excel tips. Oh, and if you want more detailed videos about these things and how I've done this, you can check out some of my other videos as well that I've posted where I kind of get into the mechanics of how I've done this. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.